Assalamualaikum, dear students. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Math Expert. Students, if you are new here, please do subscribe my YouTube channel and click the bell icon. And if you have any question related to these topics, you can send us by email in the comment section. We will solve and send to you. Friend, today we will solve this question. What is the volume of the solid in x y z space bonded by the surface y is equal to x square? Uh, we are given that y is equal to x square. Then we are given that y is equal to 2 minus x square. Then we are given that z is equal to 0 and z is equal to y plus 3. So we want to find the volume of this surface bounded by these uh, curves. So first of all, I will share the picture of this uh, surface. Um, because it is very interesting. Without picture, we cannot uh, find the solution of this type of questions. So here, you can see that uh, this is the surface we want to find the volume. First of all, y is equal to x square. So y is equal to x square is a parabola of this shape. You can see here, this is the parabola of the shape. y is equal to x square. Okay. Then we have y is equal to minus x square and then we will subtract add 2 to this. We have 1 and then we have here 2 uh, on the y-axis and this is our uh, parabola 2 minus x square. Okay, students. Now they will cut each other at uh, two points. Uh, the first one is minus 1 and the uh, second one is 1. So if we want to find the volume, so we will write the triple integral in this form minus one to one. Then we have to find the limit of y-axis, which is equal to x square to two minus x square. Then we have the limit of z, which is equal to zero to y plus three. And you know that this is along z-axis, along y-axis, along x-axis. Okay, students. Now we will just integrate this. So we have minus one to one. Then we have from x square to two minus x square z and the limit is from zero to y plus three dy and d of x. Now if I write this from minus one to one and then from x square to 2 minus x square and I will put the limit here which is equal to y plus 3 and then I have dy and d of x. Lower limit is 0 so we don't need to put this. Okay students, now uh, the volume is equal to minus 1 to 1 and then we have uh, to, no need to write this again. We just integrate this. Uh, we have from y plus 3 ka whole square divided by 2 and then I have from limit x square to 2 minus x ka square and d of x. Now if I will put the limit here so I will get minus 1 to 1 minus 1 to 1 the upper limit upper limit is 2 minus x ka square plus 3 then whole square divided by 2 minus the lower limit is x ka square plus 3 ka whole square divided by 2 and then I have differential d of x. Now uh, this will be equal to minus 1 to 1. I will just open this formula. Uh, if I were right in the next time it is more convenient to us. So now if I just open this and simplify this function. So I will write V is equal to minus 1 to 1. Then here we have uh, 3 plus 2 which is equal to 5 minus x ka square. And then I have the whole square divided by 2 minus we have here x ka square plus 3 ka whole square divided by 2 and d of x. Okay, students. Now I will open this formula, which is minus 1 to 1. 
so we have here 25 by 2 plus x raised to power 4 divided by 2 minus uh, a square plus b square minus 2ab. Then we have 5 twos are 10 x ka square divided by 2 and uh, minus minus and here we have x raised to power 4 divided by x raised to power 4 divided by 2 plus 9 divided by 2 and then I have 3 twos are 6 6 x ka square divided by 2 and finally I have d of x. Now you can see that Again, simplification minus one to one, 25 by two plus x ki power four divided by two. Then I have minus 10 x ka square divided by two. Then I have x power four divided by two minus nine by two minus six x ka square by two. And then finally I have the differential d of x. Now here some terms will cancel out each other. So we will cancel x raised to power 4 by 2 and plus x raised to power 4 by 2. So though we, they both will cancel with each other. So b is equal to minus 1 to 1. We have here 25 by 2 minus 9 by 2. Okay. And uh, the second term is minus 10 by 2 plus 6 by 2 x ka square and uh, the differential d of x. So if we simplify this, we have minus 1 to 1, 25 minus 9, which is equal to 16 by 2 minus 16 by 2 x ka square and d of x. So now uh, we will integrate this and uh, this is our Final step v is equal to minus 1 to 1, 8 minus 8 x ka square d of x. So volume is equal to just integration 8 of x minus 8 x ka cube by 3 and limit is from minus 1 to 1. So we will put the limit here 8 upper limit 1 minus 8 into minus 1. Now the second function minus 8 by 3. The upper limit is 1 ka cube and minus 8 by 3. The lower limit is minus 1 ka cube which is equal to 8 minus minus plus 16 minus 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 plus 8 plus 8, which is equal to 16 by 3. Now, if we take LCM, 16 3 is 48 minus 16 by 3. So, finally, our solution is 32 by 3. So, we will check the solution in the given options. We have 32 by 3. So, option C is the correct option. Thank you for watching. Uh, please do subscribe this channel and click the bell icon. Thank you.